Hey guys, Worldeater here. We're going to be going over the August 25th, 2022 patch notes right now. There's a lot of exciting stuff, so let's go ahead and check them out. Alright, this post was posted by Lime. The second week of Summer Frenzy is here. Double daily bonuses, crazy sales, and more for the rest of August. The shop is giving up to 30% extra gems with gem purchases until Monday. The standard shop rotation will be heavily discounted for the week. Double drop PvP event. You will receive double experience, gold, and coins, mythic callers not included. Which is kind of a bummer, but it's still pretty cool. We've doubled the chance of rare items, epic and above, on Gauntlet for the next week. That's huge, guys. Honestly, that's huge. The hidden bonus from last week is still active and will remain active for the rest of the week. If you guys are wondering what that is, that was just, I think, some some different bonus or some kind of bonus involving Permagore. There's a raffle event going on. More info on how to participate here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link below in the description if you guys are interested. New fishing, PvP, and gauntlet events have begun. New Battle Bars Expedition is here, which is great. You can get Blinka, guys. If you guys want to know more about Blinka, I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow about it. Ninja Invasion is coming soon. Ninja has some pretty nice uh, cosmetics, so that's pretty hype. The pre-zone event of Top Secret is coming soon. So, if I'm not mistaken, that should be a pre-zone event for, I believe, Tier 19. Um, really hoping it is. So hopefully that's what it is. I do see an edit there, so it's kind of scaring me, but hopefully that is what it is. Okay, it says here, hello heroes, we're uploading. Okay, yeah. So they pretty much had a fix that happened. Um, they unfortunately had the wrong discount in a certain package, and they went ahead and fixed it to the correct uh, discount, and you will be receiving the 1,600 gems if you did purchase it with um, the different discount that was labeled. Anyways, let's get back to Bit Heroes and let me show you guys what they have as the rewards. Alright, we're going to start off with PvP as always. It's going to be a team of four. It's going to be the Artifact Rune Week, and it's going to come with all the Fragment types. Again, remember guys, double drop for everything except Mythic Callers on PvP going on right now. Let's go to the Expedition, let's go to the Rewards. It's going to come with Skeletal Lining, along with Regulators, Brainstem, and Micron Chippos. Pretty good event. You're going to want to farm this heavily this week for Blinka. I highly recommend you all get her. Again, look out for that video tomorrow. I will be releasing it. And Gauntlet, Team of Four. Let's go to the rewards. It's going to be the Accessories Reward Chest Week. It's going to come with Component Cream, Critter Jelly, and Mount Guts. Now guys, you gotta remember, it is doubling your chances of getting epic, legendary, and mythic stuff. Along with sets, of course. This is awesome. You guys should honestly farm your hearts out. Gala is really good this week, and it's always the hardest thing to farm for most players. This is the perfect time to farm. If you guys are wondering, should I farm now? Should I wait? This is a very good time to farm. If you want, you could save some of your resources for Congiversary, but I really do think farming right now is a very good idea. Let's go on to Fishing, which is the final event. It's going to be coming with stat points, mount guts, of course, seashells, and gems. Now, let's end it off with the shop. I'm just going to go over a few things really quickly. I don't want to stray on the shop too long. Um, if you guys want to start uh, seeing videos on daily shop deals, like the new ones that are coming out, I can go ahead and make those for you. Uh, they'd be very short videos, of course. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So to start it off, everything here seems pretty normal. Let's go to this Summer Frenzy bundle here. This Summer Frenzy bundle is pretty cool because it has really nice cosmetics if you're into the cosmetics. It has my favorite gore, which is butt gore. One of my favorite gores, of course. Uh, butt gore. And then it comes with energy packs, ticket rolls, and char baskets. Five of each. Now, that's pretty nice. I think it's an okay price. Um, could it be better? Yes. I think the stat points are useless. Um, I'd rather have maybe a second butt gore, <laughs> but that's kind of pushing it. Or maybe just one more each of each pack. That'd be nice. Or even another cosmetic. Um, stat points to me are kind of uh, eh. Uh, the later tier you go, the I guess the less value they have. So some people out there like them, some don't. But do I recommend this pack? Mm, if you like what's in here, sure, go for it. Personally, I like what's in here. The value's okay, but I dig it. Now let's check out the Gauntlet Push Pack. Now, if this wasn't tokens, I would not like this pack. 
but since it is tokens, I like this pack. <laughs> so it's coming with 10 duffels of uh, token duffels, of course, and it's awesome because it also comes with a Sun Gore. Sun Gore is nice. Comes with stat points, sadly. Do I recommend this pack? Well, if you guys are trying to farm something like, let's say, Witchum, where you guys really need to use a lot of tokens and a good gore, I recommend it. Um, for people that just want to buy it, just to buy it, um, that's up to you. Um, I personally think this is good if you have a push in mind, but if you don't, um, it's entirely up to you. Okay, and for the last thing I want to go over, it's going to be the Chicken Lucky Ice Boost Sunbox. So we have three new gores in this box, and it's also 1,000 gems. I believe it used to be different. Yeah, 1250. See what I mean? So now it's 1,000 gems. If you actually look here and you pay attention to what's in this box, you can honestly see that half of this is worth over 1,000 gems. I recommend going for this as a free to player, um, but that's only if you have some gems stockpiled. Do I recommend you put all your gems into this? No, but if you guys have some gems lying around and you guys really want to try getting some of these gores, all of these gores are pretty worth it. Even the ice gore for you guys that don't like experience. If you guys are very, very early on players, I'd say around tier 7 ish, um, this is a very nice gore to have because the more experience percentage you have or experience boost percentage you have, um, the faster you can get your your levels up and every time you level your energy recharges over and over and over and over again so it's very very good for early game players but anyways that's going to be wrapping it up with the shop and pretty much everything in this patch notes tell me what you guys are most excited for honestly I love just about all the changes that are coming in this patch. It's pretty exciting. I love the sales. I love all the bonuses they're giving us. And honestly, it's pretty cool that the new tier is around the corner. If you guys have any predictions for any cosmetics, maybe any of the bonuses coming out in the new sets, leave them in the description below, or sorry, the comments below. I'm pretty excited to see what you guys have to say. Again, this is a very, very exciting patch. This is World Leader. Have a great one. Peace.